Hey, what's up everybody? Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Golden God here. I want to thank you for clicking on today's video. We got a special one, a medical marijuana dispensary from Columbia Care that I always hit up. And for the first time trying out the Liquid Live Resin, uh, we just did a video on Jimmy's Punch from Cresco, uh, the flower, and now we're trying out the half gram liquid live resin cartridge, which I'm super excited for because I really enjoyed the flower. And I, um, if you're seeing this, then that, that video has just been up. So definitely go check those two videos out. Um, while I read you the potency analysis on the back here, if you can go ahead and subscribe, click that like button, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, and this is gonna. These are gonna cost you um, fifty-five dollars before a discount, just to let you know. Usually between fifty and sixty in northeastern uh, Pennsylvania. Okay, Cresco Jimmy's Punch Liquid Live Resin Cartridge, five hundred milligram, five hundred milligrams. Potency analysis: CBC zero point eight six one percent, CBD zero point one eight two percent, CBDV zero point zero eight three percent, CBG four point one two nine percent, CBGA zero point seven three. 6%, CBN 0.061%, THC 71.258%, THCA 0.522%, THCV 0.489%. Now on to the terpenes. And also too, this is the new strains of Cresco. This is one of them. This is one of the new strains. Okay. A terpene 0.007%, B carefeline 1.876%. B myrcene 2.595%, B pinene 0.153%, B sabul 0.275%, campine 0.106%, humulene 0.713%, limonene 3.085%, linalool um, sorry, linalool 0.968%, osamine 0.018%, pinene 0.47%. Terpenaline 0.047% and total terpenes 10.617%. That's nice. That's a lot. And why terpene? 0.011%. Package date 0.72622. And it's good for a year. All right. We got the knife right here. A handy dandy knife. Also gives you a little bit of the THC details always on the bottom there, too, as well. But we'll cut this right open. Real easy packaging. But they always Cresco. They're they're known for having terrible like their carts, their headspace. They leave like a quarter of the top of the cart like open with no with no oil where the, which they could fill. And also too, I've been noticing this a lot lately, where it doesn't come out like it doesn't stay in its in its uh in its case. But I've seen worse boxes. All right, here we go. Like, see that? If this was a Moxie cart. You know, say what you want that Moxie's prices are, you know, just as expensive, if not more. But at least they fill their carts the whole way. Like, there should be no reason for all this, all this headspace here. They, that's like a, uh, not a quarter of the cart, but that's easily an eighth of the cart. Gone. So not really 500 milligrams. It's more like you're getting 300 to 400 milligrams. And if you, if if I'm wrong, leave it in the comment section and tell me why uh, that why Moxie fills their carts and other companies that I've tried so many. Look at the videos and the carts are filled all the way. Why why doesn't Cresco do this do the same? It looks like I smoked like an eighth out of this. Anyway. Onto, onto the uh, unboxing review. Quality, but price and other factors go into my reviews. Cheers, everybody. All right, we're going to start on crescocannabis.com slash strain slash Jimmy's Punch. That tastes amazing. I mean, fruity. Oregon Silver Haze teamed up with Purple Punch to create this sativa strain from Cresco Labs. Jimmy's Punch! With an exclamation point. Jimmy's Punch. A terpene profile of limonene, farnesine, which I... This... Farnesine, why is it not in the, the liquid live resin cart on the back here at all? Or the flower, either. Cresco, you watch my videos? Like, tell me. 
Okay, uh, Oregon to uh, the uh, Jimmy's Punch. A terpene profile, limonene, farnesine, and, and uh, myrcene. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, create notes of citrus, basil, hops, cinnamon, and lavender upon consumption. Patients may expect cerebral, uplifting, and relaxing effects. Good for early mornings, mid-afternoons, the sativa strain. Uh, flavors, citrus that we already talked about. Lineages, it's parent strains are Oregon Silver Haze, which I'm going to get my hands on Cresco's Oregon Silver Haze. Because I'm a big fan of just any like Super Silver Haze. And Purple Punch. Reported effects, uplifting and relaxed cerebral, and I told you just the prevalent terpenes. All right, on to iHeartJane.com. Jimmy's Punch. Uh, there are no reviews online, only under Jimmy's Punch for Cresco's Flower, which is getting a 4.0 out of 10 reviews, which I did in my in my last video. I showed that, but the the iHeartJane video, um, not video URL here. It's asking me, am I happy with this product that I purchased on September 9th, 2022? And so far, I am. And then it just has, like, average THC details saying 71.78%. But this is definitely higher than 71.78%. Uh, it's going to vary per batch. Description, Oregon Silver Haze, same thing. They copied and pasted, teamed up with the Purple Haze. I'm not going to read the same things twice. Our liquid live resin is sourced from a single cannabis strain. Nothing added, nothing taken away. Never separated and never reconstituted. Recapture the original spectrum, full spectrum effects of fresh flower and the convenience of a cart. Rest products are derived from indica strains, which we are associated with common re relaxation. The blue color. That's what they use that for. Our rest offerings pair well with quality time evening wind downs and restorative self care. I don't know why they put that in the description, in the details when it's this is clearly a sativa. And then it has here uh, like the average, all the um, terpene percentages, and online here like it's saying average price. I guess you can find online for fifty dollars, but I could have sworn these were fifty five, but maybe they were fifty before uh, discount at Columbia Care. And two uh, websites left here. We have Leafly.com and we have uh, one Reddit page here. Actually, let me back this up for a second. Yeah, I'm still I'm still smoking uh, Funky Pine by Cresco. That's a Tiva cart. That's an amazing cart, too. You'll see that video eventually. Okay, on the leafly.com here. Definitely, definitely like loving the high from this uh, Jimmy's Punch. Okay, leafly.com, there's leafly.com. There's no, it's just, you know, it's showing a picture here of the uh, the eighth that the thing comes in instead of iHeartChain's site before that shows this and like a picture up close of the cartridge which I'll take out so you can see really well. But even though I was upset with the headspace at first, I always end up enjoying the quality. But since this is really, you know, a, a newer product that just came out pretty, pretty recently, there's not gonna be much information on it. But uh, last here I have reddit.com and I'll leave all these uh, pages and as much information I always try to in the uh, description below so that way you don't even have to visit the sites I'll leave the sites there as you know letting them you know people know like hey this is where this information came from but uh, yeah Cresco's new strains uh, they picked up uh, Jimmy's Punch Sativa we could read through some of this stuff. It has this is one I, I I didn't read in the last video, but it says it has a Hawaiian fruit punch, fruity berry aroma, and definitely the first that I took, I I tasted fruity right away. I was like, wait, wasn't there like a comment about this guy talking about um, Hawaiian punch? I would definitely agree. Then another person that got a lot of upvotes said, Tina is fire, bro. So is strawberry cherry gelato. I will get my hands on strawberry cherry gelato. And Tina, I have got my hands on. I just got my hands on the flower, not the liquid live resin cart, but I will. I will. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this, I gave the flower an 8.5 out of 10. 
and I'm going to give this an 8 to an 8.5 out of 10, just to du deduct off for the the uh, minus of the headspace. Cresco, you really got to start filling your cards the whole way, because I'm not the only one that complains about that, and like so so many people do. And you guys bought Cresco Labs bought Columbia Care for two billion dollars, yet Columbia Care is still up and running, like for like the past year since you purchased it. I'd love to know when Cresco Labs is going to take over Columbia Care. Yep. 8 out of 10. This liquid live resin cart. Jimmy's punch. Oh, wait. I hate that when you accidentally change the heat setting. There we go. Yeah, we're good. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the subscribe button, click the like button, turn on notifications, and leave a comment below. And also, you can watch, I do, by now you know I do a second video where you see it under a magnification, like 5X LED light. And uh, that way you just, you see it, you just see it closer, you know? You might as well see what you're gonna pay a lot of money for. So I hope everybody enjoyed this unboxing video. And I will see everybody in the next one. I hope everyone has an awesome day. And stay safe. Actually, you know what? Let me put this uh, in here. Get myself a little thumbnail, thumbnail here quick. Jimmy's Punch by Cresco. Alright, subscribe, click that like button. I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.